Hi, folks, this is Ada. Today, I will talk about parametric and non-parametric machine learning models. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's begin with parametric models, such as linear regression, logistic regression, and neural networks. These models have a fixed number of parameters that determine their complexity and behavior. Unlike non-parametric models, their complexity doesn't increase as we expand our training dataset. Take linear regression, for example. It assumes a linear relationship between input features and the target variable. The model's parameters, or coefficients, determine the slope and intercept of the line that best fits the data. Similarly, logistic regression employs coefficients to estimate the probability of belonging to a specific class. Neural networks, on the other hand, consist of interconnected layers of artificial neurons. These models require a predetermined number of weights and biases, regardless of the training dataset's size. By adjusting these parameters during training, neural networks learn to approximate complex functions. Now, let's shift our focus to non-parametric models like decision trees, random forests, and gradient boosting. These models possess a flexible structure that adapts to the complexity of the data. They can handle feature engineering effectively and can even ignore unimportant features without causing overfitting. For instance, decision trees use a hierarchical structure of nodes and branches to split the data based on feature values. As we feed more data into the model, decision trees can grow deeper and incorporate more decision nodes, capturing finer distinctions in the data. Random forests and gradient boosting take non-parametric modeling further. Random forests combine multiple decision trees, each trained on different subsets of the data, to arrive at a more robust prediction. Gradient boosting, on the other hand, iteratively improves weak decision trees by focusing on the data points that were previously misclassified. Thanks to their non-parametric nature, these models can handle complex relationships and interactions in the data. By feeding all available data into these algorithms, they can autonomously determine which features are significant and which ones are not, effectively ignoring irrelevant features. On the other hand, you may poison parametric models if you feed all data to models and it will cause overfitting. Feature engineering should be done before training in parametric models. However, adding new data into train set, even for just one row, may cause to build totally different decision tree. Because decision nodes is determined by the information gain providing the most among features. If two features are having close information gain, then adding new train data may cause the change the decision node and its all child nodes. On the other hand, adding new data will not cause high impact on models for parametric models. They just update coefficients slightly. So, retrained may be dangerous in non-parametric models whereas it is totally safe in parametric models. In summary, while parametric models like linear regression, logistic regression, and neural networks offer simplicity and efficiency, their complexity remains unaffected by the size of the training data. Non-parametric models, such as decision trees, random forests, and gradient boosting, excel at handling feature engineering and can autonomously handle the importance of different features without overfitting. Understanding these differences empowers us to make informed decisions when selecting the appropriate model for our data and the problem at hand. Both parametric and non-parametric models have their strengths and applications in machine learning. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.